All right, so I know I'm like a day late and a dollar short on this or whatever thing we want to say now, but the fact of the matter is, is I was right and I want to talk about it. So if you guys haven't heard, apparently Xbox a few weeks back decided that they were going to increase the prices of Xbox Game Pass and then change all the tiers and now this tier is no longer that tier and now it's that tier and so on and so forth. Well, PlayStation also decided that they were going to increase their prices for the PSN network and really everybody on the internet's kind of like, dude, bro, why? Why are we doing this? Well. To be perfectly honest, this is something I've been talking about for a long time. Now, friends of mine have talked about having Xbox Game Pass, the access that it gives you to a bunch of games. A few of my friends use it because, well, games are expensive and they want to play a more variety of games and have that option. And some of my other friends are like, well, I really only have Xbox Game Pass because I just want to, like, if I look at something and I'm like, mm, I'm on the fence about it, yeah, I'll play it for a few hours and then I'll actually go buy the thing and download it. However, one of the things that I think is really interesting about this whole thing is people are coming out now and saying Xbox Game Pass probably one of the worst things that could have happened to gaming. Why? Well, because we're basically just doing the shotgun method. We're putting out so many freaking games out there for a set price every month and Xbox is probably going to profit from it, but these game studios are really not going to make a lot of money. What this does is it causes a lower tier and lower quality of gaming, and a lot of people are starting to recognize this. Now, the rental method, the online digital rental method, we've been talking about for years and how it really has affected everything. And even going digital online has really affected everything. Go all the way back to Napster, go all the way back to iTunes, go back to see what it did to the uh, to, uh, movie industry, music industry. But no, not tripping over my words here. Now we can go into all the online streaming services. Oh, if you pay us X amount of dollars a month, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give you all these different movies that you're gonna be able to watch. And what we saw is obviously a radical decline in DVD and Blu-ray sales or just physical media sales in general. This actually caused a massive issue on the back end because, well, you just don't get that much money from streaming or renting the movies that way. And although physical rental stores went out I think the biggest issue here is not necessarily that the digital rental system isn't that good. I, I think it's just the rental system in general. People want to be able to have the option to go out, buy the thing, take it to their house, and watch it whenever they want. And before anybody in the comments is like, you've never been able to own your games or movies. No, that's where you're wrong. You were always able to own the physical editions of these things, take them to your house. You were, however, not. You never could purchase the right to copy those and read redistribute those in a manner that said that they were yours or essentially act as some sort of theft from the company. However, that does not mean that you couldn't host your own garage sale and sell those movies for $5 or whatever, because literally you're not copying the movie and selling out more copies of it. You're basically keeping the stock of that movie the same. Therefore, you're not depreciating the value of the market overall because, well, it's already been purchased. And you see what I'm saying here, right? Does anybody get that? You've never been able to purchase the ability to copy and diminish the market by reselling more and more and more and more and more copies and basically cutting out the person who created the thing. Now, this goes into Xbox Game Pass. Obviously, now you're not even allowed to take that physical game anymore because none of them are stored on the discs anymore. You can go buy a disc all day long, but the fact of the matter is, is that's basically just a license key, right? Everything is stored on the cloud now, and a lot of people are starting to pick up, well, wait a minute, I don't need the disc, so I'll just get Game Pass. Oh, wait a minute. Game Pass is increasing in prices. Oh, wait a minute. All the games on Game Passes are not necessarily games that I want to play. Oh, wait a minute. They're not only not games that I want to play, they're also really bad. Oh, wait a minute. By the way, we're getting more and more and more bad games. What's going on here? Where's the good games? And honestly, this is something that I saw coming for years because we've seen it in a lot of other different mediums, right? This is one of the things I've talked about a long time ago. We were talking about Walmart getting rid of Walmart and Best Buy and a few of the other places, a few of the other major retail chains getting rid of all of the physical media. And everybody was like, oh my goodness, why are we getting rid of the physical media? Where is it all going? And it's like, well, it's all going away because it's easier to rent. And then people get really, really butt hurt and really, really not gonna say that, they get really butt hurt. <laughs> they get really butt hurt about not owning these games anymore. They get really butt hurt about, well, wait a minute here, but I paid for this. 
And the famous Ubisoft line, gamers need to get used to the idea of not owning their games. And then the famous meme said that, well, if ownership, if buying the game doesn't equal ownership, then piracy doesn't equal theft, no, does it? Yeah, well, and again, that's a big conversation there. However, it's not without merit. And I think people are finally starting to come around to the idea that, wait a minute, I, I don't understand why if I'm gonna pay more and more money for this service every month, why can't I just download that thing locally, even if I'm on a PC, and play that game forever? Because most games nowadays, you don't really have that option. Well, some maybe, and definitely some on the more, you know, double A side and so on. But basically, all of this is something that we've seen in multiple different mediums before. And the idea that paying for a Game Pass subscription, like paying for Netflix, we saw how rapidly and devalued Netflix became, and now Sony, don't get me wrong, Sony is absolutely going to do their own thing, and Steam is already doing something very similar, and Game Pass is doing something very similar, and all of these companies do something very similar, not identical, but similar, and it seems that people are starting to get wise to it. People are wondering, wait, why am I gonna pay more money and not be able to have that game forever, or as long as I can. I still have copies of Need for Speed, Need for Speed, Un or Need for Speed Underground, Need for Speed Underground 2. I have copies of a lot of different games on the OG Xbox, games on the PlayStation 2, all of them sitting upstairs. Now, guess what? I can't copy those games and re-release them because again, I don't hold the rights to do that. But if I decide to hold, host a garage sale and say, hey, I'm selling these games for five bucks a pop, I can do that because I'm not diminishing the market. Now, although things have changed, one of the things that's absolutely going to diminish the market itself is when these companies come out, they put a game up, you love that game, and then they decide, mm, yeah, we're just not gonna support it anymore. You go, wait a minute, I bought it. I, I bought this game. And I think what we're going to see is that, that we don't do an about face and give actual ownership to have at least a copy of that game, even if it's just a digital download that lives and you download that whole game on like an external hard drive or even into your game system or game console or whatever, we're gonna see a lot of people and we're gonna see gaming start to fall out of favor with the exception of very few games. Because this is a system that we've seen in other forms that's just not sustainable. It's not, we've seen it with other things. And when we see the collapse in other mediums, why would Xbox and PlayStation and all these other companies want to follow a failing system? So needless to say, the argument that I've had, my friend, had with my friends for years, I was right, okay? Game Pass is gonna ruin gaming. It destroys ownership. Nobody is going to like it in a few years. The nostalgia is starting to wear off and the prices are starting to get hiked. So without any further ado, let me know what you guys think down below. And if you guys wanna see the video that I did a while back talking about the physical ownership and Walmart and Best Buy getting rid of it, check it out right here. And as always, until next time, cheers everybody.